What's up, Rich Squad guys? Welcome back to the channel. And it's the 15th episode of my series, 100 Days to the 2018 FIFA World Cup Countdown. And in this episode, I'll be letting you know the best comeback ever at a FIFA World Cup. I bet you didn't know this. This match was between Portugal and North Korea at the 1966 World Cup hosted by England. North Korea qualified for the 1966 World Cup in very strange fashion. For the 1966 World Cup, Asia and Africa competed for one of 16 places, with UEFA getting 9 places, CONMEBOL getting 4, CONCACAF getting 1, and 1 place reserved for the hosts. The Oceania Confederation was formed in 1966, so therefore the teams from Oceania competed in the Asian zone. For the 1966 World Cup qualifiers, the African nations pulled out in protest because they thought they deserved at least one direct spot and didn't have to compete with Asia for that one place. They also protested FIFA's readmission of South Africa after they were expelled from the CAF for their apartheid regime. As a result, North Korea were to face Australia, South Korea, and South Africa in qualifiers. South Africa was disqualified after the resuspension by FIFA after the African nations piled on the pressure. South Korea pulled out because of logistic reasons, so therefore, North Korea and Australia were to play a two-legged playoff to see which team will take that one direct spot to the 1966 World Cup. North Korea went on to defeat the Aussies 9-2 on aggregate. These two fixtures was played at the Olympic Stadium in Cambodia. North Korea qualified for the FIFA World Cup for the first time. Portugal qualified for the 1966 World Cup after tapping their UEFA qualifying group four ahead of Czechoslovakia, Turkey, and Romania, only losing once to Romania in qualifiers. So now that we know how both teams qualified for the World Cup, Let's fast forward to the main event. At the 1966 World Cup, Portugal was drawn in Group 3 with 1958 and 1962 champions Brazil, 1934 and 1954 finalists Hungary and Bulgaria. Portugal went on to brush aside all three teams. Brazil went on to finish third in the group as back-to-back -back defending champions. With a team boasting the likes of Pele, Bellini, and Garincha, this was one of Brazil's worst World Cup performances ever. Portugal will go on to play a very spirited North Korean side who plays second in Group 4. They were only bettered by the Soviet Union who tapped the group, but the North Koreans finished above the Italians after defeating them 1-0 and above the Chileans after earning a 1-1 draw in their fixture. Portugal versus North Korea. Who knew that this quarterfinal will go on to produce the greatest ever come from behind victory in World Cup history? The match was played on July 26, 1966 at Goodison Park in front of 40,000 spectators. Israeli referee Askenazi Menachem blew the whistle and the battle began. The Koreans were out the blocks as fast as Justin Gatlin. Park Sun Zin scored a wicked left-footed volley and stunned the Portuguese with only one minute on the clock. The North Koreans went wild with celebrations. The game continued in very high octane fashion with a few chances for both teams, with the commentator even praising the North Korean goalkeeper for pulling off a few acrobatic saves. Like he was jumping around in front of the goal like he was Muhammad Ali, floating like a butterfly, stinging like a bee. Lee Dong-Woon scored a tap-in to put the North Koreans up 2-0 in the 22nd minute after a flurry of crosses had left the Portuguese defense and goalkeeper in total disarray. The North Koreans went wild again. Like this was unbelievable. You had the likes of Eusebio putting his hands on his hips, putting his hands on his head like, whoa, I can't believe 
what's happening to us. We're imploding here. After a perfect start to the World Cup in the group stages, we are losing to North Korea. Like, what's going on here? The Portuguese began to fight back. A powerful Eusebio free kick went wide of the goal and North Korea retrieved the ball and started another attack. Young Sun Cook went on to score North Korea's third goal in the 25th minute and everyone must have thought that North Korea were destined for the semi-finals. But the Portuguese began to fight back even harder. Eusebio dispatched a beautiful through ball to make it 3-1 in the 27th minute. He celebrated by retrieving the ball from the back of the net and running straight back to the half line mark because he meant business. Portugal went on to seriously boss possession and created chance after chance to no avail. But in the 42nd minute, Torres was brought down in the penalty area and the referee Menachem pointed to the spot. Eusebio stepped up and scored to make it 3-2 going into the halftime break. Both teams give their halftime talks, you know, Eusebio and Portuguese team were probably like, yo, we gotta get ourselves together. We can't go down to the hands of the North Koreans. The North Koreans will probably say like, we need to get ourselves together and we need to pull this off. The nation of North Korea are depending on us, okay? The referee Menachem blew the whistle to start the second half. In the 56th minute, Eusebio equalized to complete his hat-trick and to further flatten North Korea's hopes. A few minutes later, Eusebio was sprinting down the left flanks. He went past two North Korean players, was heading towards goal when he was taken down in the box, the referee Menachem pointed to the spot once more. Eusebio got up, limped to take the spot kick and dispatched it. It was Eusebio 4, North Korea 3. Jose Augusto would score a late header to make it 5 goals for Portugal. They would go on to win the match 5-3 and complete the greatest ever comeback in World Cup history. No team has ever recovered after being three goals down. Portugal would go on to lose to would-be champions England in the semis, but they would get a consolation prize when they won the third place match versus the Soviet Union. Eusebio's six knockout stage goals and three group stage goals would earn him top scorer award at the 1966 World Cup with nine goals. This remains Portugal's best World Cup finish to this day. North Korea would remain absent from the World Cup for another 44 years. Remember South Africa guys, the same team that got disqualified from the 1966 World Cup qualifiers made it so much easier for North Korea to qualify. For the 2010 World Cup, it was literally a rebaptism of fire for North Korea. They were drawn in the same group with Brazil, Ivory Coast, and guess who? Portugal. They went on to lose 7-0 versus Portugal with a man by the name of Cristiano Ronaldo scoring the seventh goal. How fitting. But guys, thank you for watching the 15th episode of my series, 100 Days to the FIFA World Cup Countdown. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, make sure you smash the thumbs up button. Let me know any video ideas in the comment section down below. And until next time, peace out. Rich Squad! For the 1966 World Cup, Asia and Africa... For the 1966 World Cup, Asia and Africa competed for one of 16 places at the World Cup. The Oceania Conf... The Oceania Con... <clears throat> The Oceania Confederation was formed in 1966, so therefore, Australia competed with the Asian zone. The Oceania Confederation started... The Oceania Confederation... The Oceania Confederation formed... For the 1966 World Cup qualifiers, the African nations pulled out in protest of... For the 1966 World Cup qualifiers, the African nations pulled out in protest because they thought they deserved once. Oh my God! For the 1966 World Cup.
South Africa was disqualified after South Africa was re <sighs> This was perhaps one of Brazil's most unforget This was perhaps one of Brazil's most forgettable World Cup performance. But the North Koreans finished above the Italians after beating them 1-0 and ahead of the Chileans after earning <clears throat> Man. But the North Koreans finished above the Italians after defeating them 1-0 and above the Chileans after earning <clears throat> and above the Chile <clears throat> But the North Koreans finished above the <clears throat> But the North Koreans finished above the 1934 and 1938 champs and <clears throat> Portugal versus North Korea who knew that this quarterfinal fixture would go on to produce the most... Oh my God. Portugal versus North Korea. Who knew that this quarterfinal fixture will go on to produce the most... Me the greatest, man. The Koreans were out the blocks as fast as Justin Gatlin. The Koreans were out the blocks as fast as... Like he was jumping around the net like he was Muhammad Ali. Stinging like a... Floating like a butterfly, stinging like a bee. Eusebio's six knockout stage goals and three group stage goals would earn him top scorer award at the 1960 school. Uh, Eusebio's six goals in the knockout stages and three goals in the group stages will earn him. Oh my God. Eusebio's six knockout stage goals and three group stage goals would earn him top scorer award at. Oh my God. Put that after that, not before, okay? At the 2010 World Cup, it was literally a rebaptism of fire when they were drawn with Ivory Coast champ. Oh my God. But guys, thank you for watching my 15th episode. But guys, thank you for watching this. Uh, battery are dead. Oh. <sighs>